Hello all, welcome to openmentor.net. Let us continue our COBOL journey. The last class we just talked about the structure of the COBOL program like it will have four divisions, identification, environment, data and procedure division. Let us see what are the details that we have to do inside the divisions. Let us take the identification division first. The first one within that identification division is program ID. The syntax has to be exactly like this program hyphen ID dot a space then you have to give the program name. The second attribute that you will give in the next line is author dot your name. The third one is date hyphen written. You could notice it the COBOL is not case sensitive. You can call it in capital letters or lower case letters no problem. Date written the date, date compiled. This is like when you write a document, in the document who wrote the document and then what is the initial date on which you drafted it, then what was the date that you modified. Same way we will use the name of the program, who wrote the program, what is the date written, what is the date compiled. Again in some of the COBOL compilers or most of the COBOL compilers, you may give the six digits line number or you need not give the line numbers. Either way it's fine. So this is the first division. Identification division has one, two, three, four attributes. Now environment division has got two sections. Uh, one is the configuration section and the input output section. But within that let us see only the configuration section now. Again this is mostly of documenting and then when we compile what kind of compiler it has to choose again this is only for documentation purposes this may not have any significant difference as some date the first attribute is source hyphen computer we say IBM 390 in some cases it may be tandem computers or it may be uh, Honeywell computers or Unisys so you can choose the computer name and what is the object computer where you coded this program where you have compiled and then where you are going to use this this is again for a documentation purposes because 30 years back the computer on which you code the computer on which you run they had a lot of interdependencies today it's not like that we may even code in Windows and we can deploy on Linux so there's a lot of uh, improvements that have happened but the Identification division and configuration section are mostly for documenting the program. Now what I have done is in the procedure division I have coded something but I missed instead of saying accept I made it as ACCEP without giving the T. So it is it is a syntax error. It's a problem. So let us try to compile it. So I am trying to compile it. When you try to compile it you can give the listing file name listing file name you can you can give let me give like ERR okay usually all the output lines will go to some file dot LST whether there are any compiler errors it will list over there I give ERR okay it the prompt came out we didn't know whether there were any errors or not to find out whether there is any errors or not I go here this is the F drive where we have installed this now DIR ERR dot LST when I do this Okay, it has got some bytes, 1303 bytes. Let us say type error.lst. If you do that, it says two errors accept ACCEP unrecognizable element. Because this ACCEP has an error, this WSA also has an error. So I know there are two errors. I go to the very first error. I go back to this IDE. Now I say, okay, this is my mistake. Let me correct that. Now let me compile it once again. Then I say ERR. Okay, it finished. Again, once again you type it. Finally, we have to see no errors or warnings in the list file. Then only it is a successful compilation. So whenever you have a problem in your syntax, you have to look at that ERR.LST to find there is any error. Make sure you remove all those compiler errors to see these no errors or warnings. Okay, now when I run this one, now you see hello world. It says type something to exit. I type something, it goes off. So this is what I printed. Display hello world, display this, then accept. This is a very simple program. Now we have seen these two divisions, the four plus two, six attributes. Now in COBOL program, what happens is the there are 80 columns. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. This is 10 columns. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay. It, it goes to the right. 80 columns it can go. Within that, the first 6 columns are treated as line numbers. Okay. The seventh column, if you put a star mark in the seventh column, it is treated as a comment. So if I go here, on the seventh column, I put a star and say, this is a comment. The compiler will ignore this line. You cannot put a star mark here. You have to put the star mark only on the seventh column. Columns 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay? This is called A margin. Okay? Let me document this also here. Uh, column 1 to 6 is for line numbers. Then column 8, 9, 10, 11 is called A margin. When you say margin in a real paper, you will leave some space on the left side and right side. That is called a margin. Then Column 12 to 80 is called B margin. So ideally, column 8 is a margin, column 12 is the border. You could see some of these statements start from column 8. Whereas if you go to the procedure division, some of these start from column 12. So those borders, 8, and 12 are the real margin. So 8, 9, 10, 11, it is called the A margin. 12 to 8 is called B margin. Again, which statement should come in A margin? Which statement should come in B margin? We will see it later. But to be very precise, most of the first three division commands will start from A margin. Procedure division statements will come from B margin. It's a very simple uh, statement. There are other places also where it should start even within the first three divisions also. We will see those things later. In this section, in, in this uh, session, we have seen the four attributes, uh, program ID, author, date written, date compiled under identification division. We also saw source computer and object computer. When we compile, it used to give the errors in a .lst file. Then we have seen the A margin, B margin classification in COBOL. With that, we will stop this session. Thank you.